Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Dan from FRZ Trading. Today, I am going to show you how you can use TradingView Stock Screener to easily find short-term swing trading opportunities. This approach is fully compatible with the TradingView free version as well. So without further ado, let's get started. First go to TradingView and click on Products, Screeners, and then select Stocks. Now on the top left corner, you can select the stock market. It can be any market that TradingView supports. For this demonstration, I will use the US stock market. Now you will see the list of stocks with various parameters. We need to do some changes to the default listing. Let's do it. First, find the analyst rating column. Then right click on the column heading and click on move to the start as it is easier to read. Please note that this column provides us a technical rating for each stock. This is our main rule for selection. The rule is simple, we only buy stocks with strong buy ratings. Then click on Change Percentage column and then select Column Settings. Under Price Change Percentage, select One Week. Then right click on the Volume column also and do the same so both columns will be based on one week data. Then again click on the Volume column and make it sort descending. Now you can see the list of stocks arranged based on the volume. Now here is the next rule. We select the stocks that have a decrease in value which is not more than 5%. Yes, as you would have guessed, we are trying to buy at a pullback. However, we will not consider stocks where price has decreased more than 5% in the last week, as it could indicate some sort of fundamental reason that might lead to a major trend change or a crash. Now what we simply do is go through the stocks with strong buy indications and check if they match with our 5% criteria. If both conditions agree, we can simply add them to our watch list by clicking on the flag mark on the left side. Let's do it now. Now we have shortlisted some of the stocks for further analysis on the chart. Number of shortlisted stocks can be decided based on your preference, but select at least 10 stocks. You can access the watch list by clicking on the watch list. The next step is to do a little bit of fundamental analysis as we do not want to get into a crashing stock. Now go to TradingView homepage and select News from the main menu then select Markets and then Stocks. Now you will see a list of news updates on stocks, then click on More on News Flow. Then select our watch list, then select Stocks under Market and the Country. Also, under the Provider, select only Trading View to keep it simple. Now you will see the news updates on our watch list. Now what we do is to see if there are negative news items within the last two weeks that could change the overall market trend for any of our shortlisted stocks. Such news could include negative earning reports, mergers, acquisitions, regulatory filings, changes in top officials, macroeconomic changes, legal and geopolitical issues, and so on. In case we find such significant news that could negatively impact our shortlisted stocks, we need to remove such stocks from the watch list. Once we have done this part, we move on to charts. Now go back to our watch list and open the charts for each of the stocks for further analysis. Now let's look at our chart analysis. We have just three indicators as 200 EMA, 50 EMA, and the stochastic indicator. Here are the things we watch out for. The price has to be above both EMA lines. And both EMA lines should be trending upwards with a good slope. And the stochastic blue line should be below 50 or just coming out from being oversold. And finally, look at the candlesticks. If the current or previous candle has a significant bottom wick, that is an added confluence but not compulsory. If any stock does not agree with the rules, we can remove it from our watch list. Let's look at some of the charts. Check this Amazon stock. Price is above both 50 and 200 EMA, and also both moving averages are nicely trending upward. Also, the stochastic is below 30. So this stock agrees with our rules, and therefore we keep this under the watch list for trading. 
Have a look at the Uber stock. The price is below both moving averages and also stochastic is above 50. So this is not in line with any of our rules, so we take this out of our watch list. Now look at this chart. The price is above both averages and trending up, while stochastic is below 50. So this is a tradable stock. Now check this chart. Price is above both moving averages and trending upward, but stochastic is still above 50, so we remove this from our watch list. Once this technical analysis is done, you will be left with a tradable list of stocks. Now depending on your funds, you can buy these stocks. If you want to buy only one or few stocks, select the ones that go best with our rules. What about the exit? As we told you before, we are for short-term profit. Typically, you keep the trade for a week or so and see how it goes. Typically, we exit the trades when the stochastic blue line goes above 70 level and we are in profit. However, if the price drops below 50 EMA, we should consider getting out as it would indicate a longer-term trend reversal. So that's it, guys. If you've got questions or need help, drop a comment. I'll be hanging out down there. Thanks for watching, and I'll catch you in the next one.